Hustlers, what's up? It's your girl Anissa and we are back with another video for The Rich Hustle and I am so happy to be here with you guys today. I've missed you guys oh so much. I've had a lot going on with my business, therichdna.com and now I'm finally back making you guys another video to show you today how to obtain your LLC. Okay, so crazy mind blown i was so excited that i was able to obtain my llc recently my birthday was last month and it actually got approved on the day of my birthday mind blown it was amazing and so i wanted to come on here today to just basically guide, guide you guys and give you the information on how to do your llc or like basically the application process of doing your llc um because i know sometimes like you know Backstory, I was about to spend $600 to do my LLC through LegalZoom. No, you know, no bad blood towards them. But I mean, $600 compared to me spending the $70 or $75 is way different. So I wanted to come on here today to gu guide you guys on how to do the application process to get your LLC started. If you don't know what an LLC is, an LLC is a limited liability company, and it basically allows you to be able to separate your business as a separate entity from your personal assets and also from you being a sole proprietor. So I went ahead and did that for my business, and also it just allows you to be able to do so many other things um, as far as loans, building business credit, getting grants. All of the above today this video is just going to be focused on how we're going to do the application process so if you guys are interested on in knowing how to do that then go ahead and stay tuned of course this video is going to be based in california because that is the state that i reside in but all of the basic information is going to be you know it's going to work for you as well the only difference is that whatever state that you reside in or that you decide to get your llc in you're going to go to the secretary of state website for your state so if you want to know how we're going to get our llc application completed and done and you want that information then go ahead and stay tuned okay hustlers so as you can see i'm at the secretary of state website for my state which is california biz file online and we're going to go ahead and get started when we get to the website, we're basically gonna go ahead and click on registering a business. Once we get there, we're gonna then click on articles of organization. And this is basically gonna be the application process for you in order to complete your LLC. Once you get there, they're going to ask you to sign up. So you're going to put in all of your information. It's going to be your email address. You're going to make a password. You're going to put your first and last name, your phone number, and of course, the name of your organization. Once you're completed with that, you're going to go ahead and click registered. And then we're going to go to the next page. Next, you're gonna hit the privacy warning that is basically gonna be letting you know that everything that you are submitting into the website is gonna be public information and basically just contractional as far as you filling out the application. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the check mark and then you're gonna go ahead and press next step. The next area is gonna be the submitter information. This is basically gonna be where you put who should be contact when it comes to dealing with this LLC. Now we're gonna fill out the professional services notice that basically says, if you need us, we're here for you. If you need any kind of services, we're here. The next section is the limited liability company name, and this is where you're just gonna put the name of your business with LLC on the end of it. And now we're hitting the initial street address of principal office of LLC. Here you're going to put basically where the physical address of your location is. Um, you cannot use a PO box. So you're gonna wanna put exactly where you're gonna wanna receive your mail 
Um, so they're gonna mail you any information and all of that good stuff. So you go ahead and include that here. Hey Hufflets, I'm so sorry to interrupt your video, but I did wanna get on here and let you guys know about one of the latest accomplishments that my business was able to make. And that was being featured in Money Long's, one of her newest videos, Another, which you guys can check out on YouTube. But as you see, one of our earrings were featured. It's our 90s flavor bamboo earrings. And if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and check out the richdna.com. Now we're hitting the agent for service of process. And basically, if you have a lawyer, this is who you're gonna be getting this sent to. So you're gonna be pressing the California Register Corporate um, agent. And if you're just gonna accept the documents for yourself, you're gonna go ahead and choose individual. And now you're gonna be reaching the purpose statement. The purpose statement is basically gonna break down who is running your business. So if you're coming out of a sole proprietorship and it's just you, then of course you're gonna pick one manager. If you have other people that you run your business with, then of course you're gonna go ahead and press more than one manager. If you have a committee or a board or other people who are under you um, as far as your business, then you're gonna go ahead and put all LLC members and basically you're gonna be deciding how you're going to run your business, what the operation of it is, who is going to be in charge of making those final decisions. Um, then at the bottom, you're gonna see something that says file date. The file date is either gonna be the current date that you are filing the application, or if you're planning to go ahead and wait to a later date to file that application, then of course you're going to press further file date. Now here on the attachments, if you have any additional documents that will be beneficial to the processing of your LLC, this is where you're going to include them. Now here, depending on how many members that you included on the last section, you're going to get everyone to sign or either yourself to sign the application. And lastly, you're going to go ahead and decide if you would like a certified copy of this application and the process um, sent to you. That's an additional $5. And then you will go ahead and choose which option you would like about how quickly this application would be processed. Once you go ahead and complete that, then you're just going to go ahead and enter your debit card, credit card, or whatever processing information that you have into the system, and then you're complete. All right, Hustlers, so that wraps up how to complete the initial application of getting your LLC started. Of course, there are other steps that we have to complete after we get approved for the LLC. Mine took about, I wanna say about a month to get completed. So I am gonna make another video on what are the steps and the things that you need to do after your LLC is completed, and also just little tips and tricks that you need to do in order to make sure that your LLC is compliant and that we're keeping that limited liability company and all the things that comes with it up to date. So I thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys know I love you. I rock out with you and you already know this is where you want to be. So you're going to go ahead and smash that like button, smash that bell notification so you can know about all the times that we upload new videos and you're going to also go ahead and subscribe like go ahead and subscribe because you already know this is where you want to be i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching all of my videos and i'll see you guys next time peace